Hello and welcome back to After Hours Murder Mystery Theater. And we're still on Famicom Dante Club, The Girl in the Back. Previously, Conan was drugged. A new day. Uh, oh, the phone. Chapter six The Altruist, otherwise known as the Benefactor. Conan's memory slowly returns. Why, Ayumi? <clears throat> Ayumi's long gone. He finds a bottle of sleeping medicine lying on the floor over by the coffee pot. but I can't let him get away. I need to find out for myself who did it. Whether it was really Tazaki or not. Conan, there's a chance that I'll never see you again. But in any case, I want you to know that I'm sorry. Goodbye. Ayumi. Oh my god. This can't be happening. Conan rushes out to the office. Conan rushes out of the office. Frantically searching high and low, Conan eventually finds himself deep in the heart of the city. After asking dozens upon dozens of people, no one seems to have noticed anyone matching Ayumi's description. Nevertheless, Conan continues to search, determined to catch Ayumi. Just as Conan starts to feel the weight of hopelessness sink into his heart, he comes across someone who may have spotted him. I know I ain't got a name of Yumi. That was a cute little chickadee right around right the corner here. Ayumi! Huh? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Ayumi Tachibana? You're a detective, aren't you? Ayumi skipped school today. She said she had a cold or something. But now that I think about it, I think I might have seen her recently. I saw a girl down at the Galleria train station a little while ago. It might have been her. I'm not sure. Galleria. Ayumi, where are you? Well, there's a lot of people here, including a pimp. Pippi's busy trying to lure pedestrians into the cabaret. Excuse me! You know, if 
you seen anyone dressed in a Ushimitsu high school uniform lately? Don't know. It's pretty busy around here. I can't see Ayumi anywhere. I can't even be sure if she's here. with a poor old man like me. Ayumi, Ayumi, me, 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 go back to me, Ayumi. Everybody around here. So come on, have a drink with me. This guy's getting on my nerves. What's a kid like you doing all the way out of downtown? Yeah, I know where he's. There's no here to go around. I am too drunk for this. <coughs> oh. He's long gone. Sir, mm. Ayumi, where are you? Why so serious? Come, have a drink. Uh. Huh? Hey, how's about you? It's Ayumi, babe. Oh, go out for a night on town. <coughs> I give up. What do I have to do to get this guy to leave me alone? Sir, I'm in a hurry. If you can't help me and my school girlfriend, then I'm going to have to go. Huh? Where do you think you're going? A <gasps> rotten kid. Hold on, I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> you saying I'm no good to hang around you? That it? Sure, I saw her. Such a sweet little thing. Where? Right inside, sir. Step this way. Thanks, I think. Don't mention. So, what can I do for you? You're looking for a girl, yeah? He 
Yes, sir. I don't believe I have a girl by the name of Ayumi, but perhaps I could offer you a fully capable Ray or Asuka. I'm sorry, I'm not interested in Evangelion. Ray, she's alright, but no, I don't want no bitch like Asuka. Thank you. God damn it. <laughs> I believe I've seen any girl like that around here lately. seeing any high school girls around here lately. She might have headed directly to the train station though. Back to work for me. How about you sirs? Looking for some fun? Hip heads off. Many are people pass by. Many people pass by keeping to their own business. hard at work, talking up a storm. Wait a second. Isn't that Principal Urabe? But who's that guy he's with? Just then Conan hears someone. Just then Conan hears someone call out for him. doing in a place like this? I've been looking everywhere for you. There's something important I have to tell you. Ayumi came to our house around 6 p.m. today. That's after she left me at the detective agency. She said she came to offer a prayer in Yoko's memory. She seemed almost like completely different person today. Like something heavy was on her mind. Hmm? I was really worried by the way she would say goodbye when she left. So I decided to go after her and see if she was okay. But she was already out of sight. I then tried to find you and talk about it, but nobody answered. So I came out to search for you. This is Kojima. The truth is... She drugged you? Mm -hmm. Why on earth would she want to drug you? Oh my, what does she intend to do? to say. You don't mean that Tazaki person Where is he?
She's going after him alone. But that's so dangerous. I know. I couldn't believe it either. Wait a second. It's already been a few hours since she drugged me. She's probably way ahead of me by now. Oh no, this could get ugly. I've got to find her. Conan, wait. Before you go, take this photo of Ayumi. It might help you find her. This is Tazaki's apartment. Oh no, it's dark already. See, there's a light going on there. There's a light on next door. Maybe someone's there. I hope they know something. Oh, I thought you were Zaki. She was here today. It was just after four when I heard Tazaki's voice outside, so I came out, and that's when I saw that girl from the photo. I saw Tazaki too, but it looked like he was running away. I was trying to give him this package, but there was no way I could catch him. What package? The one he's holding? About that package. And this package? Came today. Dressed to Tazaki, but I signed for her when the postman realized he wasn't here. Could I see it? I don't know. It's not really mine to show to you. Oh, I guess it's probably okay. Sure, Tazaki wouldn't mind something like that. I heard that she'd go and share it to that girl. Hmm? Just don't run off with it, okay? Return address says Fumi Tazaki, 74 Marufuku Village. Thank you, sir. Small town, Norvis. Mother's name's Fumi. Born in Mafuku. By the way, who the hell are you? First that girl, now you. Come here, call me all sorts of that girl came here and asked her what kind of questions you are now. Showed her back and she took down the address just before she left. Finally followed him all the way to Marufuku. I've got to find her.
trying to ignore the dreadful possibilities. Conan speaks to Marufuku village. Having arrived at the address on the package, Conan eventually meets up with Fumi, Tazaki's mother. Who are you? Pleased to meet you. I'm Detective Conan Edogawa. Tosho, what have you done now, Tosho? Who's that? Tosho, what have you done now, Tosho? Has your son come by recently? No, I haven't seen him. Tosho. What have you done now, Tosho? Wait. Is that really such a good idea? Show her the note. himself into these days he's always been such a bad I don't know why he's always in trouble he was such a pleasant boy I don't know what to do what is a mother supposed to do I've been thanking my lucky stars ever since that Urabe man has been helping my son out. He's truly inspiration. But that numbskull always has to go into... She burst into tears. What's wrong, Mr. Zaki? Hey, you there! What'd you do? How dare you make an old woman cry? By the way, Mr. Zaki, has Tosho been around here lately? I saw him a little while ago while I was showing some city girl the way here. He took off as soon as he saw us, though. Something's always spooking that guy. What do you mean? Hmm. This is the girl I'm looking for. took off after them. As I saw, they were headed towards the cliff. Cliff? Oh no. Stay back! Oh, oh. Turn as fast as he can, Conan reaches the cliff. There he finds Ayumi tightly gripped by a frantic Tazaki. There's some sort of shiny looking object in his left hand. Ayumi! Conan! Think about what you're doing, Tazaki. Don't come any closer! Uh, I'm done for! He must be at the end of this room. Come on. What would your mother say if she knew you were up here now? Shut up! Don't play with me! I'll do it! I swear! Looks like persuasion isn't working. Don't move a muscle! I'll do it! I swear I will!
reason that I had to go and say, oh, hey, make it, make it, make it, rush, rush, quit, make it, make it, make it, what? Let's see if I can do this. Tazaki! Just let her go and we'll all forget this ever happened. You think I'm dead gullible? Just then a sudden gust of wind blows by causing Tazaki to flinch. It's now or never. He suddenly notices Conan trying to approach him and raises his knife overhead. Uh, Tazaki! No! Conan! Tazaki collapses in front of Conan, hanging his head in shame as he drops his knife. Tazaki, are you ready to tell me the whole story now? Yeah. Talk to me. I wouldn't like this. The day before Mr. Kaneda was killed, I had an argument with him. So quit his stop the investigation. I see. That's what I did. He said he wanted me to repay this loan I had taken out by the very next day with no advance notice whatsoever. There was no way I could cough up that kind of cash so quick. So that night I took a trip out of himself to try and reason with him. But when I got there, I found the police and everybody. They were a bunch of people gathered around who told me he had been murdered. So the alibi you gave about repairing the wall was a lie. What about the wall? With all that dead on my hands, no one would have believed I hadn't killed Kaneda unless I had a solid alibi. So I got thinking. Remember, the principal had asked me to fix that wall a few days before. So, in the middle of the night, I snuck out and plastered up real quick. Next morning, I went straight to the principal and told him everything. Look, big surprise, but you know what he said. I have faith in you, Tazaki. That is why I will help you. Do not worry about this trivial matter. If anyone were to ever ask me about it, I will simply say I supervised you plastering the wall while the murder took place. The Canadian case came and went. And got off scot free, and all thanks to Principal Rabbit, my benefactor. That's what altruist means, benefactor. <clears throat> He's the only one who ever stuck up for me like that. See, I used to be in the gambling big time got involved with some shady people and then got really out of hand. I did some time. And after I got out, nobody wanted to hire me. Didn't know where to go and I, somehow I met Principal Robin. No matter what I said or did, he always had faith in me. And he gave me a job. I come so far since the old days. Gave me a whole new shot of life. I got comfortable in my new job. Slipped back in the gambling room for long and hit low. That's where Canada came in. And the rest is history. This really the truth. Yes. So what's the story with Yoko Kojima? She came. 
you snoop around asking more and more questions about what happened back then i didn't know what to tell her the more she asked the more she knew i was hiding something she would push and push her answers i got so sick of it i let her have it one day I just wish that nosy miss ayama wasn't there to see it all you know, a few days later, she turns up dead. Just my luck. Why didn't you tell the truth until now? I don't know. I just got caught up in my lies sometimes. It's terrible. I never know what to do. my best to hide the truth from you. I was afraid that if my cover got blown, everybody would realize Robbie helped me cover up and his career would be over. Back when I eavesdropped on you, Miss Hayama, I decided something. I decided to protect Principal Robbie the only way I could, by ending it all in the sea, here in my hometown. But when I got to my apartment, I found Ayumi waiting for me there. All she did was ask me to tell her the truth, but I snapped and said something really awful to her. I said, if people get all pestering me like this, I'll kill them. That detective too, I said. So later, when I arrived in town, just as I was about to meet up with my mother, little Ayumi was waiting for me. Then when I saw you coming to, I couldn't help it. I grabbed her and... Oh no, what have I done now? Please forgive me! It's alright, Mr. Tazaki. Conan! I believe him! Please, you have to believe him! Look at him! As evening draws near, the three head back from the northern sea, out of harm's way. The next day, Conan and Ayumi return to the office. Conan, will you ever forgive me? Oh, I don't worry about it. It's wire in the wind. say about all this. Conan, I couldn't bear to think about what I'd do if anything happened to you. So I thought I should go home. Thanks for thinking of me, but that was pretty reckless of you. I, I just couldn't bear to lose another friend. Got enough to worry about. Of a third degree black belt on your side. Ooh. Ooh. 
How you like that? Conan, your your zipper is open. <laughs> uh, oh, that was slightly embarrassing, but at least I made her smile. Show a good place. Wow, this wall threw it out. <laughs> Show a good place. Things sure seem to have come full circle lately. Tazaki, almost resorting to violence, finally broke down and confessed his lies. On another note, I'm sure that was the principal I saw at the Galleria. But who was that man he was with? Oh my gosh, I'm so late for school! If I only know, I should just be able to get there by fourth period. You better hurry. Walk with me, okay? So, what I'm going to do is just that. I am going... walk with her to school and go from there in the next part. So stay tuned more of Famicom Detective Club, The Girl in the Back, right after this. Thanks so much for watching.